let's move this over to streaming for just a little bit. Now, apparently okay. NBC's Peacock streaming network is going to have some exclusive games as part of the Big Ten package. How big of a deal is this for a streaming network like Peacock, whose model really requires subscriptions as opposed to just linear viewers? I think it's an important thing for Peacock. <clears throat> you know, it doesn't surprise me. Peacock or NBC hasn't done a rights deal for the last couple of years that didn't include some element for Peacock. And if it hadn't included an element for Peacock, I don't think NBC would have been in on the deal. They'd have just stuck with Notre Dame. I think um, you know, there'll be some some one off games, maybe maybe some some basketball, who knows? Uh, I think the bigger issue or bigger surprise would be co- eventually if it comes out and there's another streamer as a part of a deal, say some package carved out between, you know, picks four and five or something like that every week for football for Amazon Prime or Apple Plus, Apple TV Plus. That would be even more of a surprise to me than the Peacock, uh, Peacock element. You just assume that if NBC is involved, there's a Peacock element. Yeah, it, you mentioning Apple and Amazon, et cetera. Like we just got the news from Disney yesterday that they lost one point one billion dollars in streaming. Uh, what what was the next step for streaming? How invested do you think Amazon, Apple, et cetera, are going to be in broadcasting live sports rights in the future? I think that they're going to continue down that path, if only as a hedge. I certainly a hedge against you know potential loss on their broadcast or cable networks. Amazon Prime is a totally different business model because it's all dependent on Prime memberships. So it's not, you know, they they don't really care as much about viewership as they care about people, you know, paying that 120 bucks a year to, <laughs> to for their Prime subscription. Customers, right? There's yeah, exactly. Some, there have been is, multiple people that have brought up the idea that Amazon could get into the sports gambling rights space, where you've got a game on the television on Amazon Prime. Right. And the ability to not only buy the team's gear right there on the screen, but also to be able to bet on the game as you're watching it. I mean, things like that are, I mean, obviously much further into the future, but maybe not as far as we're thinking, right? It's it's possible. I think it'll be a good idea and an indication of what they plan to do with the Thursday night NFL games this year. I think that'll be real, you know, a real eye opener of all the various things that they could do. You know, for one of these conferences, if they got in, could they do a NFL red zone type channel for the Big 12 conference or the Pac-12 conference? Um, alternate feeds, you know, Manning Manning cast feeds like ESPN did for Monday Night Football. Oh, yeah. There's a variety of things that they, you can do on a streaming service that you can't necessarily do on a linear broadcast or cable network. No, you have as, certainly got that right. Yeah. yeah, as far as the the what's the ultimate, I don't know, end game for streaming, Losing a $1.1 billion a quarter is certainly not a business plan that is sustainable forever. I I told somebody, I said, that's, you know, one quarter, that's an entire year of Big Ten rights. So (laughs) it's a lot of money. I think that you're going to have to have some consolidation at some point, as as with any business where there's significant losses, Uh, some sort of streaming bundle, maybe. I think you already see that now with, with the Disney... Disney Plus, Hulu Plus, ESPN, ESPN. Plus. Yeah, uh, I read somewhere that uh, Walmart Plus, which is their answer, I guess, to Prime, yep. uh, a, a subscription service, might offer all of those as part, all of those streamers as part of your Walmart subscription. So there's going to have to be some new models. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is, but I can tell you one thing that that those kind of losses, whether it be you know, Netflix, Warner Discovery, Peacock. The Warner the Discovery Disney. stuff is mind blowing. The the ninety million dollar Batgirl film just being completely shelved, and that comes off the heels of you know CNN Plus, three hundred million dollars down the drain for that one. It, yeah, it's, it's 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 quite clear that the the guys from Discovery have an entirely different view of the streaming world than the the former. Uh, ATT Warner Brothers executives did. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.